हेलो इवन आकाश है एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू यूट्यूब डेफ चैनल ओके सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू ओके सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड सो फार वी हैव ओवरऑल कम्प्लीटेड द यू आई फॉर आर टू डू एप प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वट आई विल ट्राई आई विल ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट द क्रिएट टू डू फंक्शनैलिटी ओके एंड टू मार्क आर टू डू एज डन ओके लाइक दिस ओके सो वी विल ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट दीज टू फंक्शनैलिटीज इन दिस वीडियो and if the time remains then we will also try to complete the delete to do functionality or we will do this in the next video okay so let's code okay so let me give you a small idea uh, we will have uh, like we will have two state basically uh, what we will have in state is um, r to do and a to do array okay so we will have a state and in which we have Uh, we will have to do and to do array okay so we are using functional component so for this we have u state as our hook to manage the state in functional component okay so over here uh this is how we can have our state okay okay so friends our to do will have two properties basically a title and the done property basically it is completed or not okay so we have this u state Okay, so friends, this to do is our state, and this is for our set state to set the value of this state. Okay. Okay, so we will have our done property initially as false, and then we will have over here our to do array. Okay, and set to do array. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so here, here we will have our to dos. Okay, from local storage. Okay, like local storage dot. Sorry, first we have to check if it exists as on property to dos. Okay, so if it has this object, okay, then what we can have is we can simply parse it. and we can simply get it or else we will simply have the empty array okay cool okay so now let's code the function on change const on change here we will be receiving an event okay and this function and we have to call it over here on change sorry uh, like this okay on change okay cool and yeah we will receive the event over here now what we can do is let's have the value let's destructure this is how we can destructure the value from the object okay so event dot target from this event dot target and let's create an object let's declare a object let object equals this okay and we will have object at the title key we will have the value okay that we will get from the event okay that the user will type in the input box and uh, object at the done property what we will have is uh, false initially okay cool and what we have to do okay so friends this was the default value okay default value of our to do okay and uh, when the user will start typing in the input box okay so from here what we can do we can set the to do okay to do and this object okay so we can actually set our state okay so over here yeah the spelling is wrong that's why it was not highlighted okay cool now let's create the function that will be triggered on when we will uh, like click on the fun uh, button okay to create our to do okay here also we can receive the event okay so friends we will get the we can get the name from i will tell you everything okay uh, we will get the uh, name from the event dot target 
okay and as i have told you like we will not only trigger this function on the button click but also when enter is pressed okay so for that we have if event dot key is equal equal enter okay sorry not this capital okay or name is equal equal add sorry add to do okay cool um okay and we all and we only need to uh, perform the following functionality if to do dot title is not equal equal none sorry okay like this okay so what we are going to do is we we will simply push that to do okay so we will simply push that to do uh, into the to do's array okay into this okay we have like if we do not have anything then we will simply push into this empty array or if we have something i mean to say some to do saved then we will simply push into that array okay so unshift okay so you must uh, okay so why i'm using unshift because i do not want to push it at the last and then i will make the user to scroll it i simply want to like uh, let us give study okay over here at the top so okay so if you want to push at the top for that we have unship okay so to do okay cool and what we can do is local storage we can set it to the local storage to do's and for while setting it we have to stringify it okay to do's okay cool and we can also clear that input box okay okay else we can simply show a pop up over here okay so let's first call this function okay so let's quickly do it on click okay so we have on click and this function and one more thing that we are missing is we have to give it a value property and the value will be of our state dot title to do dot title basically title okay and one more thing uh, on key press okay on key okay on key press also we have to call the function okay cool yeah else we need to show up we can simply show a pop up okay so let's quickly uh, install a package that is sweet alert okay okay so friends what we can do we can simply uh, run this command okay npm install sweet alert okay okay so cool our package has been installed okay so we can simply have it over here import it okay cool we can import it from sweet alert and over here we can simply use it uh, like okay swell and we will we can simply give a message like oops please write to do first and it will be of error type okay and uh, now okay so now we have our on change we have our create to do and uh, what i can make is let's also make the complete to do function okay so const complete to do okay so guys in complete to do what we have to do is we simply need to make that done property true okay so yeah if first of all let's check uh, that to do's at i okay i is index basically and if it's done property uh if it is not equal equal true okay then only we are going to run this function okay then simply to do to do at i sorry at i and this done property we are going to make it true okay and simply local storage dot set item 
okay and we will also set our to do array okay we also need to set our state so we will simply uh, set these to do's okay so we have our to do's and this is the updated version that we are going to set in our state and we can simply show a pop up like success pop up okay like this good job to do completed and it will be of success type okay so uh, okay so where do we need to call this complete to do okay so we will we have to call this okay so we need to okay so this is how we pass props okay to the child component to do array okay and uh, and we also need to uh, pass this handler okay so complete to do on the key of complete to do okay okay so now let's um, go to our to do list okay and now let's first destructure that handler const complete to do from props okay not this dot props uh, it is in class based component okay for function component we simply have props okay now let's have the to do array over here also oops and guys if we are receiving it from props let's check if props dot to do array dot length if it is greater than zero then we will simply assign it props dot to do array or else we will simply give it json dot pass okay let me json dot pass okay so now what we can do yeah one more thing uh, it is going to be dash over here okay so that was messing up okay a bit okay so what we can do next uh, is guys uh, first of all just simply remove these extra extra list uh, okay okay now we can simply traverse the to do array okay so first if there are to do array okay check and if its length is greater than zero okay okay so what we can do is we can use map to traverse it okay map and over here we will have our element comma index okay cool and we will have this list over here control x control v okay or else uh, what we will have is not over here uh, okay or else we will have null nothing okay cool and guys uh, okay yeah over here we will have element dot title okay because um, like uh, we have our array okay and this will refer to a particular object so particular object will have the title property okay cool and over here we will have our on click on click is equal to okay and over here we have to call it like this uh, complete to do and we'll pass the index okay uh, the current index uh, from here okay and this we will rece uh, receive over here so that we can uh, perform uh, so that we can alter our array on the basis of this in these index indices index okay <laughs> forgive me for that uh, okay cool we need to give it a key property okay uh, key okay so now friends uh, let's quickly add a css okay so these are the css that i had to i have to add line through uh, red blue and green okay simple colors and over here uh, if if our to do is completed then we will simply use this class okay so let's quickly add this class okay so friends here we need to have a conditional uh, class okay so how we can do that class name uh, equals okay so we will check if our uh, property done is true okay so then we will have our this class line through okay else we will have nothing null okay so yeah and what else over here also okay uh, over here also we will have a conditional class okay let me show you ok 
okay and we will use back tick oops okay so guys these are template literals okay uh, back tick and what we will do is if we have our okay so guys if you do not know what what are these uh, template literals then i do have video on this i will just drop that link in the description box okay so if our to do is completed okay so if our to do is completed then we will show this um, check check icon with green color okay else we will show this in blue color okay so yeah one thing that is missing over here is this okay it looks a bit complex but it is not actually that much complex okay so cool i hope this should work okay so let's see once what we have done uh, we have our state over here we have on change function okay and we are simply uh, setting our state uh, create to do okay in which we are actually uh, creating a array uh, like uh, having to do's into our local storage okay uh, we are showing a pop up for error okay complete to do and we are doing this property as true and we are showing a success pop up okay so cool we have also passed the props and we have restructured the props and okay conditional class okay we have traversed the array okay so yeah guys let's have a look now okay so let's refresh the page and let's have code okay cool so we are having uh, the entry okay uh, let's have them play coaching um, what else we can have like cooking okay so as you can see uh, we are having uh, the to do's at the top of the array okay and not at the bottom okay so cool we are having our uh, to do list over here okay let's also see if uh, these to do's are getting saved or not okay friends uh, as we can see we have five to do's so we also have five entries over here and uh, they have these properties title and done okay so now let's try okay now let's try to mark them as done okay okay cool we got a success pop-up good job to do completed okay and we also got this class that is uh, line through and it is completed and its color also changed okay let's try doing this for others also like yeah i am done with my cooking my studies okay so yeah let's also see if yeah these uh, these properties got true okay true 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 okay cool now let's try refreshing it if our to do's are saved okay our to do's are saved also okay so guys uh, this is it we created our to do uh, we created our on change function we marked them as done okay so i guess uh, these functionalities are enough for this video okay as the video is getting quite long so we will cover the delete functionality in the next video so guys stay tuned and thank you for watching and if you have liked the video then do hit that bell icon and do subscribe to my channel thank you